Hello, Shagil is speaking. Uh, today we are gonna create gonna creating our uh, full stack tutorial, modern stack tutorial, and all the four latest technologies will be used here, like uh, MongoDB, Express, Next.js, and uh, React. Though we are not uh, using React, we are using Next.js on top of React. Uh, you know, uh, Next.js recently released their latest version. You've seen uh, Next.js and being stable right now so without uh, further ado uh, this tutorial will be full-blown role-based authentication I mean uh, we will have different users like uh, admin users super admin or normal users so without authentication uh, one user are not supposed to go another uh, directory or routes so we need to protect our routes so in react it was very tough you have to handle it manually but uh, in next.js it is so much easy uh, by handling the app routes middle layer and the next auth so without further ado let's dive into the deep so first of all go to the next.js website and go for installation and you need to have the node.js installed in your machine okay let's see we have one not note p yeah i have note 16.18 npm b you must have these versions installed in your machine if not you can navigate to the website and download it node.js okay node.js 18.6 you have to have the latest versions or uh, closer versions right okay so first of all uh, let's install the next.js uh, it has very blazing first features you know uh, i am not saying you right now but by the course of the time uh, as we go ahead we'll uh, let you know what the new features it has been added and it's blazing fast it give, gives the SEO optimization image optimization and it gives the api routes it gives the server side rendering client side rendering and many more features okay okay let's dive into the deep so i am using cmd here you can use anything whatever you like okay. mm, you can uh, use any folders like desktop or any other folders but i am using d folders so let's download the npx create next app latest okay and press enter and it will take some time to download it okay proceed yes now do you want to project name project name means marn stack sorry marn stack role based role based routing sorry role based routing next okay i'm giving it uh, this name though, though it is funny and too long to give it a uh, user friendly url but you can if you wish you can uh, keep it short would you like to type a script no in this project we don't like to type type a script yes link yes it will give you some hints error hints error handling tell you in css yes uh, source directory uh, no we don't like source directory mm, app directory yes uh, some days ago it was beta but it's now stable so if you want to gain the full advantage of next.js definitely you have to use the app, app routes okay yes would you like to customize the default import allies yes uh, would you like to allow import yes so it will take some time to download okay we are waiting to get all the dependency installed in my local machine so i am pausing my uh, video for some time and i am coming back okay okay we got our installation ready initial setup ready so let's maybe get to the older barn then open it in the VS code let's see the initial folder structure what is 
initially ships with the initial setup and uh, you see this is the app router uh, some days ago it was beta right now it is stable so in the app router they give the layout and page setup and this is the main page which pops out if you run it let's see terminal mm, if you start the server your dev let's see what will happen if you go to the browser uh, sorry the closed localhost localhost 3000 we'll set the initial setup ready i think okay yeah. and initially let console it we have no error it's supposed to be because this is the fresh new start fresh new installation so it should not have any errors okay uh, let's change the pace according to our requirement or according to our desire give it a name say a song this is one base let's see whether it will give us the output yeah this is front page okay so this is our initial setup and this is layout base and uh, get acquainted with the initial as nextjs 13.4 and let's see which version we have installed and it's 13.4 okay so get acquainted with the initial folder structure this is the main page front page you see it is uh, popping out in our front page this is front page and we initially we have the layout and layout is the common page uh, it uh, metadata it has the metadata and everything let's say um, oh, first of all get acquainted with the routing system this is the front page so in the app directory if i uh, created a folder uh, like uh, like admin say admin as it is we are going to make a role list so it should have admin and please dot jsx or jx okay and uh, rafce and give it a name this is this is admin Page, okay and see uh, routing is how much easy the routing is but in react you have to have have to have do manually every routing okay but like this uh, comes up very easily uh, you can make the route quite easily just go in the app folder and create the folders this is folder based routing you can say you see this is the admin and let's create another folder user user and page.jsx page.jsx okay and go to page sorry go to page rafc uh, somehow it is duplicating rfce and right down here this is normal pace this is normal pace normal user pace user pace okay you can create another folder super for super admin okay super admin okay Super admin and page dot j6 j6 okay super admin are are seeing this page or super admin okay and let's check the routing 
how much is it is or more better the thousand times better than uh, react okay and go to say user user and see this is normal user base okay go to admin this is admin page okay go to super admin Or admin. This page is for super admin. Okay, so the routing is this is called file based routing. Just in the app folder, you write down the name and give it a page like admin page. This is the convention. You have to write down like that. And you can uh, let's uh, talk about the layout JS. So say in the app directory, you are creating a component component components okay in the components folder you create a directory uh, nap say nap nap dot jsx nap dot jsx sorry it has become the folder create a navigation navigation dot jsx okay rfc this is for navigation navigation okay and as it is component, you have to connect it. You have to hook it up with layout JS. So in the layout JS, before children, um, hook up hook up the navigation. I need B I navigation navigation. It's not giving any suggestion why. Let's check once again. Yeah, layout before children. Okay. Uh, give it a Shown. It's not suggesting us. Let's see what is happening. Navigation, maybe it is matching with the convention. Okay, uh, maybe they have some uh, nav bar. Let's see, it's nav bar. Okay, let's see, it's nav bar. Nav bar. layout once again and write down number yeah right now we are getting the suggestion you see it's suggesting us and it's important important so if in the navigation number now if we connect it to the layout page you see layout in the number and it's auto importing from components nav number and I hope uh, it will hook up in every page. You see, this is the super admin page. This is the front page. In the front page, you see, this is for navigation. If you go to the user, you will get navigation in a navigation page in every every page. It hooks up because uh, we are being we hooked it up with the layout. So if you want a common page, which will pop up in every page, will be connected in every page, you can hook it up in the layout page.
Later, you will see that if we use the context API, Redux or React Hot Post, we'll simply wrap up our layout folder by uh, this context API or Redux. Uh, later, we'll see that. Okay, so this layout is folder for uh, common properties. If you want to have something every pages or uh, get the functionality for every pages like context API, Redux Toolkit or React Hot Toast, you have to wrap up uh, this layout folder, everything. Okay, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Please give the give a big thumbs up and stay connected. See you soon. Thank you very much.